<laughs> Wait a minute. James. I was promised Bandicoots. You sat me and hyped down. I'm like, we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the new installment of Crash Bandicoot in the PS4, and I was so excited, but what is this? Uh, I got some explaining to do, don't well, I? Well, that's Activision. Oh, now that I see Gunslinger there, yes, I think you do. Okay, so, just to get everyone up to speed, if they... Uh, Who is this Bob? Um, funny story. If you've been living under a rock for the past while, um, the new Skylanders came out, and as they actually released a very special bundle for Sony own owners, currently, that they have Skylanders figures based on good old Crash Bandicoot and Dr. Neo Cortex, and that's the only reason why I bought this game, for the record. Everyone save what James. By the way, nice little made Mickey icon. Now. Don't care. I'm not. I'm not accepting any friend requests right now. Thank you very much. Have but anyway, a, have you, have you made an Imaginator <laughs> yet? Please place your Skylander on the portal of power. Wait, grass. Crash it's Bandicoot. Grass. Yeah, that's looking better than ever, buddy. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since those tiny games. He's a games. sensei. Huh. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think at least 10 years. Yeah, well, anyway, just to get everyone up to speed right now, um, the recording I'm doing here, I'm going to be showing you guys the Crash exclusive level that was made for this game, and um, I um, I should also be said that this was actually a blind run-through for the game. Because, oh, well, well, I already did about a couple stages beforehand, and it felt felt about as uh, familiar to me as, as a Supercharger did. Yes, I did play that game. Take three guessings why. I was working on some kind of newfangled teleporter oh. and... Oh, hello, random. Um, up a hole in the time-space continuum. Crap. Luckily, no one was hurt, but I did... Hello, Texan, um... Neck mage thingy. MAP. You might want to take a goosey gander at it yourself. Tech mage. Oh, look, we're... Oh, those tiki's look familiar. Yeah, something about that, and screw off, you piece of shit. Thumpin' Wumpa. Oh, well. This level will be unlocked once you put a Crash or Cortex Skylander onto the Portal of Power. And that's going to be the focus for this, well, mini-commentary, per se. Because this isn't really a look at it by the usual norm. Oh, hey! Oh, it's good to see you guys again! I both an H. Oh! Yeah! Nice little beat. Meanwhile, I like it. Oh, Cortex, it's good to see you again, buddy! And Lex Lang doing his own thing. Yep. He was actually rather ecstatic yep. for this role. He's making a me music powered robot? Pretty much, yeah. Yep. Basically, the plot of this is that every 20 years or so, the Wumpa Islands go through this thing known as the. Oh, fake crash. Yes. But yeah, we'll talk a little bit more after we see this. Meanwhile. Oh no! Damn it, cr fake crash! You uh... just had to fuck it all up! Oh, is that that's Spyro? Whoop. Looking a little low. Look, got a small jaw there, buddy. Whatever that is. Yeah, yeah, Spyro. Yeah. That was Mags and uh, Spyro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they'll be part. Oh, hey, there's Aku Aku. Oh yeah, uh, they got great eagles to do the whole booga booga thing. Nice. Nice to see. Nice to see he has his classic design again. Yeah, which is nice. Though I don't quite understand the white, the white uh, bolts on his eyebrows. I always thought that was kind of a weird inclusion. I think the only other time I've seen something like this is in Boom Bang, or at least as far as I can remember. I remember in Boom Bang he had red irises, but anyway, let's listen to this. I'm sure that Neo Cortex is behind all of this. You must stop him from meddling with the synchronization celebration, or the world might not hear from us for another 20 years. God dang it! <gasps> we can't have that! Let's go <laughs> save the day! Has it really been 20 years? Well, it's been 20 years since the first game came out. Yep. Oh, dang. So, uh, but, let's yes, Enter it's Crush it's Bandicoot in Skylanders, and, um, I'll say this right off the bat. Um, playing as him for the first time in the series, I'm surprised how damn close he is to the playing like he did in the classics. Like, he's got his slide, he's got a, a pretty damn good spin attack, all things considered, which it's far better handle than it was in um, uh, the Titans games. Oh yeah, and he can also make expressions with the Also, it's like he's moving to the beat of the island. Mm -hmm. Say, uh, you're, oh yeah, you were telling us a story about how the island works. Oh yeah, that's right, uh, Hyperview Whip. Uh-huh. 
Basically, every 20 years or so, the Wumpa Islands go through something known as the Synchronization Celebration, where the rhythmic forces of Wumpa Island manifest themselves into the little boogie that we're seeing throughout the forest right here. Basically, Cortex wants to harness the rhythmic energies of the island during this ceremony to power that matrix chamber they had earlier so he could be able to create his own unstoppable army. However, as we all know, Fate Crash kind of messed that up and cause all these weird cataclysms to happen around the islands. So now we have to set things right. Yep, as our good old fre friendly Bandicoot Crash. But you can also play as any other Skylander you have on inventory. Including right. Dr. Cortex himself. But you do need to have at least one of them before you can even get here. Right. The, va the now, va yes. If, if, if you don't have either Crash or Cortex right, ready and on standby, then the um, then the um, area on the map will just be some blue holographic thingamajig. Gotcha. Uh-oh, we're approaching one of the bad vibe areas. Oh no! The whole vibe's all out of whack! We gotta- yep. we gotta fix it! With the help of these Dingo Tile and Tiny Tiger statues. Oh, uh, thank you. I was about to say, yeah, those are statues of- and they have their classic designs, too. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Let's go, ooh. Ah. Ah. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ding, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Let me go ahead and get, in, get into a little bit of uh, technical. Oh, look, it's one of the... It's one of the... Did you come through here? Yeah, one of the islanders that, uh... Yeah, it's one of the Papu Papu villagers. Funny enough, Papu Papu isn't in this expansion pack. Which oh. kind of makes the inclusion of the islanders feel a little more weird, I guess? Ah, crud, not these little shits. What are they? They're, um, chompies and... Bongo crabs. Hula and bongo beats. Bongo beats, that's its name. So yeah, we, uh, just like in Skylander's tradition, it's mostly a brawler, where you pretty much gotta beat the living shit out of enemies with, uh, your specific Skylander's abilities. In Crash's case, he can use his spin it, good old spin attack, his slide, and he can also use TNT crates. Huh. Provide you properly power them up anyway. Oh no, there's actually, there's evil vibes here. We better fix it with the, by smashing that, um, boombox. Ah. Find all the boomboxes. Oh, they're messing up the synchro, I get it. Mm -hmm. It's um, pretty, it's a side quest where you, you find all the boomboxes, you can get an additional purple chest. What's inside the purple chests are pretty much what the game calls Imaginites, which all, which, um, if you, exp when you blow them up, they, uh, they're pretty much like a par they're like a party ball. You pop one and they give you a prize. Usually, um, a custom, all it's always a Ooh, customization yeah. option for this game's Imaginators. Pretty much custom Skylanders. Have you made one yet? I have not because I really could give less of a shit. <laughs> okay. Well, so, the, the, um, true to Skylander tradition, um... Every, specific stages will always um, favor a certain type of Skylander. In Crash's case, he is a he is a life type of he is a life brawler. Now a life a life sky or, or is it life Skylander? I, I don't know what it is. The it's grass a, type or whatever. Yeah, the grass type. Basically, well, yeah, grass type uh, Skylanders. Oh yeah, and uh, exclusive to uh, the Imaginators, you can take selfies. And if you take a selfie in a specific hey, location, <gasps> perfect. <gasps> Uh, yeah. Is this what okay. happened to my franchise? <laughs> yeah. Oh, looks like they got the same voice. <laughs> good old Jess Arnell. It's good to have you back, buddy. Oh, yeah, and I've also... Yep. Let's here's see. a couple of selfies I took yeah, yeah. Uh, prior to this recording. Ah. Was that that... Oh, they brought back the Patrick... Get this frog off of me. They brought back the Patrick Warburton character. Yeah, they did. Though, thankfully, he doesn't appear all that often in this game, thank God. Okay. Actually, oh, a lot of a lot of the usual side characters from the Skylander series kind of take a backseat in favor of um, more uh, like some of the older Skylanders, like Spyro, um, Stealth Elf, and um, I forget the name of the uh, the the uh, magma thing. Uh, oh, Mag. Oh, yeah, I forget his name. Magmort. I know. Magmort, that's there's cool. also the uh, bird, the bird with oh. jetpack name, uh, Jetvac or whatever Oops. the name is. He also appears yeah. too. But yeah, pretty much all the some of the original um, side characters take a side step. Take a backseat compared and make favor for these series one Skylanders, who are pretty much NPCs. Though funny enough, you can still play as the side the series one uh, Skylanders. I did test it out with Spyro uh, later on, and now I'm going to switch my Skylander. Wait a minute. Get, take two guesses who it is. <laughs> Too late. It's Cortex. Brilliant. <laughs> so, so what do the senseis do? Okay, so the senseis in this game, well, for one thing, they got some really huge-ass figures, which is pretty dude, awesome, actually. Kind of dude, Cortex, but everyone's really looking forward to grooving to the beat tonight at the party. Uh, whatever you just said, I'll take your word for it. Anyway. Oh, like I care. Senseis in this, ga senseis in this game will, um, will, um, 
they will... How should I put this? They extend the level cap for your Imaginators, and specific um, senseis will actually allow you to um, activate certain abilities for your said um, Imaginators. So it looks like they looks like they have pretty much the same platforming from uh, Twin Sanity. Something like that, yeah. In fact, what I don't show off is that this game does make a subtle nod to um, Crash Twin Sanity. You're in luck, Cortex. Spiral's been scouting ahead, and he believes you are completely oh. to blame for all of this. Completely, you say? <laughs> the village at the base of Mount Wumpa, and keep an ear out for anything that sounds wrong. Oh, I know one thing that sounds wrong, but I'll get to him later. Anyway, as I was trying to say earlier, also the same as... Oh, great. Er uh, okay. Yeah, pretty much the whole basis behind, like, el certain elemental Skylanders. Pretty much the game's way of saying, go buy some of our other figures, you dolt. Yeah, that's Th always been a bit... <laughs> Though, to be, though, to be fair, you don't really need the other Skylanders. Well, the Hovercraft. The, the ones that they specify to have um, for um, certain stages, they just power... They just they just do strong... They just they just hit <laughs> harder in um, specific state, parts of the stage. Okay. So, anyway, yeah. Cortex himself, he has his blaster, which is pretty cool, though I kind of hate how it doesn't have auto-lock. Um, he also has his bombs from uh, Crash 3. He also has his hoverboard, which is, a, which is actually a pretty useful means of... Uh, of traversing, mm -hmm. he can also unleash Uka Uka as a as his other offensive attack. I don't you know, like his voice. Mm -hmm. Mama shit. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Oh hey, a oh, product plant. Haven't seen Planties. It look nice. Oh that can make that can reproduce. Yep, it can make little it can make little little piranha babies and uh that's no that's no bueno. Oh yeah and I'm also showing off the um, Uka oh, Uka shelf as I call it. Now, Go away. for those of you who aren't uh, entirely familiar with Skylanders, even though we've already explained a couple of the other basics, uh, when you when you initially start off with the game, uh, your Skylander will only have two specific attacks. Like, in Cortex's case, he only starts off with the um, Blaster and the Uka Uka Shove. Once you start um, upgrading them with the coins you collect, Sheesh, that was a close one. then they will... Hey, um, come on up here! I'll get to you in a bit, buddy. I'm just talking here. But um, you, once you start collecting more coins, or in this case, in this case Wumpa Fruit, which converts into coins, uh, you can give them additional abilities. Like in, like in Cortex's case, you can give him the ability to use his bombs, or make make more bombs with just one throw. As well as a, a certain thing the game calls um, attack tiers. A Sky Chi. Oh yes, the Sky G, which is pretty much the which which is pretty much your character special. Though getting that in the game requires your character to go to a specific stage and then finding um, this certain thingy which you can um, activate, which gives you the Sky G. Anyway, um, other things I can try I can also talk about. Um, well, let's go talk to this tribe leader, for, <laughs> tribe person, real quick. The animation, the animation is pretty like smooth and nice. Oh yeah, if I'll give the Skylander series credit, like the production values are really up there. Like, oh god. Even though this dude's hair looks like plastic. <laughs> yeah, well, to be fair, <laughs> it's like it's almost as if they're toys. Right. <laughs> well, more so the characters are playing as. <laughs> what am I doing here? Why am I associating with the Islanders? Yeah, pretty much. Yes, you are. Um, but yeah, I mean, from what I'm seeing so far, this isn't a game, you know. No, listen to Cantata. What I'm, I always knew. I may be the future, but you're part of the past. Pretty much, I mean. I'm delusional. You can't, you can't forget the past, but you can bury it. Oh yeah, God, it's just. Oh yeah, but, but, but patience I, is not my virtue. I almost forgot, like, the whole, the Twin Sandy now that they have early. Like, if you talk to Aku Aku as early as, like, the beginning of the stage with, um, Cortex, he makes a little nod, like, saying, After everything on, you did, after everything on Twin Sandy Island, you still go and do this shit. Tisk. Hmm. Also, is this, also, did this Please note that he actually does not say the word shit, because this is a kid's game. I know, I, I was also, paraphrasing. did the title of this area just make a pass at Dave and Busters? Did it? Wait, it, call, it was calling this place Wumpa and Busters. Huh. 
I guess I missed that. Huh. Ooh, what the best dude? Talking about like in games, yeah. I think it may be one. I think maybe you know, with Dave and Buster's joke. Oh yeah. Um, I'm not showing this off because I figure I don't want to waste that much time. But basically, um, if you pre if you you can actually challenge him to a game of um, I think they call it, like sky cards or something like that. It's, it's basically Sky, Sky Stones. Stones, that's it. Um, it's basically like a, tradi uh, a running tradition in the Skylander series nice. where it's basically a card game, but they always have a variation of it every game. In this game's, okay. case, in this game's case, it's basically oh. your traditional um, place your sto place a stone here and then... Um, it's, I can't even really explain can you, it. Can you, do, can, you do this, can you do the slide jump? Uh, not really, not in this game, though. I, I just, though I do kind of like to do that out of habit. Oh, it, geez, it does um, kind of go without yeah, saying that, so... um, the game, mm -hmm. compared to other Crash games, well, even though this isn't really a Crash game, the running speed is a little on the slow side. So, to, yeah. oh, hey, it's Max. Huh? You saw another Bandicoot? And Spyro. Crash? I'm positive. I saw this guy way up the mountain, dancing around in well, some So, yeah, they better make me pass at the fact suit. that Spyro and Crash have worked Badly. together. He's so off. He kind of they actually do. do. I I just don't know if he shows it off. I don't remember if I do or not. Well, that's weirder than a one -eyed wolf I do remember hearing that they do make reference to it. By the way, I still find it kind of weird that they got Matthew Mercer of all people to voice Spyro here. Huh. Well, that's Death Mercer, that's and neat. honestly, I don't think that voice. I don't know. I I don't really like the fact oh, that Jim. they tried to go for older voices to voice Spyro. There we go. Would you say it's better or worse than the actor that they got for the earlier Skylanders games? Not sure. I honestly don't even remember how he sounded there. It was Josh Keaton. Oh, it was Josh Keaton. Huh. I'll have to look into that later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it could be. It could be worse. Could have been new. T it could have been. Uh, what was it called? Hero New Tale. What was the new, the new beginning? The new beginning. Oh, Legend of Spyro. That was um. That was um Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Yeah. I was honestly, yeah, I, could, could, that voice I thought was okay for Spyro. I just didn't know about having the whole thing with him and Cinder. Like to live in a place where you don't have to dance Funny enough, Cinder is a Skylander. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she is. I wonder which one of the three voices she had voiced her. Like, I'm trying to remember What's them this? all. Like, I know in the first one she was Cree Summers. Oh, this thing. Let's see, yeah, in the first one... In the first game she was Cree Summers. I don't remember who she was in the second game. But in the third game she was Mae Whitman. All these random act, all these random voices. You think they just stick to one for the entire series? But I guess they all have they all have lives. Oh, cute. We Wumpa Islanders prefer a very minimal aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, being fair, that, she's not the that only person freaking, that did that really... those games. Like, lest we forget that, Sparks. That was uh, I, I think that was Fry. Billy West. Billy West. That sounded like know. Billy West for I, I swear that sounded like Billy West when you two were talking. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I think it was Billy West. You can always look up the IMDB later, but um, actually one thing that, that that I found kind of surprising is that um, one of the villi the major villain of this game, I think I just call him the Brain, is voiced by Greg Proops. Really? Yeah! I love Greg Proops, that's awesome. Wait, who? Can you show him... Greg, who? Greg he, he, was, he was half of the voices, for, he was half of the, the great commentary team of Mad World. He was the, he was oh, the okay. not DiMaggio. <laughs> the not DiMaggio. Oh, okay. Well, because I because I know for a fact the hype would be able to remember Dimaggio. I just was saying, so I would just eliminate. Saying, of course. Okay, you remember the guy who wasn't Dimaggio? That was him. You might also remember him from. Well, I also never played Mad World either. Well, you you probably remember from Blue's Line because that was like one of his more more common appearances. Right. Right. Uh I wish I wish some of them had other voice. I mean, I'm trying to think. Like, I wish they had other voice work because, like. For instance, I love Ryan Stiles, but the only thing that I remember that Ryan Stiles ever did elsewhere was he was the bad guy in Reboot. I know he was also I know he was also brief he also briefly appeared in the Astro Boys movie as uh, Mr. Mustachio. Yeah, which I mean you can kind of hear when he's like saying "Pop quiz, everyone," but other than that, like yeah, it's a very quick, yeah. which is a shame because I love Miss. I think I the love only Mustachio other in the comics. Yeah. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, that's basically. He's... No son. Pretty much the basis for yeah. the shit you collect in this game. It's pretty much just custom parts for your Imaginator. And, um, and, and other than, and, I thought Medusa's and head only, was supposed to have snakes. And the only, and the only outside. thing that I know that Colin Mockery has done besides his line was, he was, um, 
he was in an old. Remember that old crappy Goosebuster Ghost uh, no, Goosebumps show? Oh, that's a, he was in that. Uh -huh. He was he was in one of the episodes. He was a it was a very very small cameo. Like he had one line. Oh wait wait. Quite understand is how this other Bandicoot plays into whatever scheme you cooked up, Cortex. Is this your plan? I thought I was thinking maybe it was a different reference. Never mind. Anyway. But, oh um, crap! Not this yeah, again. He, and we'll, yeah. Oh boy. Banjo. Hey, you're in the wrong game, buddy. You who? My name's Banjo. <laughs> anyway, I was about to say, just going back to um, who's line actors. Like this, the I think this is Billy West. I know that's done voice work. Which is your fault, Cortex. You better hurry up and dig out my funky Wumpa mixtape. I think this funky is Funky Wumpa mixtape. Mm. Anyway. anyway, like I was saying, I think the only other Who's Line person I know that has done voice work before is Wayne Brady, because he was the third voice actor for Sparks. Uh, don't Spider. remind me of that, man. That was, like... Hmm. Wait, about the really buff Sparks from Heroes? Yes, the buff Sparks. My mixtape. Get ready to get your yeah, I think this is Billy West. Smashing rockers. It's time to dance. Who also voiced Sparks in the second game? Uh, David Spade, Billy West, and Dwayne Brady. Three actors that have nothing to do with each other. I know Jess Harnell has voiced some of the other Skylanders. Funny enough, he Well, yeah, aside from that and Crash, but that's kind of a no-brainer. Right. Actually, Jess Harnell's probably the only person in the, on the planet who actually has both Crash and Spyro on his resume. Here. Let's see. Patrick mm -hmm. Warburton is Flynn. Ugh. Of course. Yeah. Patrick Moore is just Pat Patrick Warburton. As he always is. Um, Good thing they didn't get Go Gilbert Gottfried for this shit. This is kind of weird. Um, Give it a few games. So, you know how, you know how like, on IMDb you have people's uh, photos of themselves? Yeah. For uh -huh. a guy whose name is Kevin Sean, who is from things like Stand By Me, Lion King One and a Half, the oh uh, 2016 Doom. Um, for Kevin Sean, his photo on IMDb is just a cartoon zebra. <laughs> what do you know? That's all. Wow. That's all it shows him as. The truth reveals. How yeah, original. He is the real Bo Jackman. Yeah, I see Matt Mercer. I see Greg Proust, Lex Lang, Jennifer Hale, Bobcat Goldthwait. Who did he voice? Who? Jennifer Hale. Oh, it just says voice. I don't know what he did. Probably just a side character. Ah, uh, just curious. More than likely. And Joe, Charles, and DC West there. Laura Bailey was Ninjini. I know Tara Strong. I think Tara Strong is, um... The... She's Crystal. Oh, I thought she... I could have sworn she was a stealth elf. Maybe? I, I know for a fact... I know for a fact Tara Strong was Crystal, the Crystal League Dragon thing, because I remember con my brother and I both, like, hearing that voice back in Giants. Mm. Oh, yeah, by they... the way, Logan actually has played a Skylanders game before me. Yes, and... Yay. It's all right as a brawler. I think when they had the two-player thing, it was kind of neat. But for me, it was... I mean, for me, I can't... It's very difficult to deny the cash grab opportunity that is being presented there. Yeah, I agree. This is pretty much... Mm -hmm. This is pro Out of all the franchises in gaming history, this is probably the most expensive out of all of them. Because it's, it's taking the mentality of trading card oh. games. Pretty much, implied in the video games. Yeah. Which is why and, I only really buy specific characters, right? And if any. I would I would say if you're gonna play this game and you wanna if you wanna play the, if you wanna play this game get the most out of it and save money, you, all you really need is just one of every element. It's a yeah, pretty because much. There will be because there will be times where there will be times where it says, "Oh, you can't swim in this water." Why? I have my Shrody. No, you need to be a water elemental. Well, only water elemental Skylanders got stronger here. <sighs> but yeah. But I took swimming lessons five years ago. Only water elements. So see now oh, we crash with this part. Yep, because <laughs> we're about to go to a crash specific minigame. But we'll get to that in the last second second and also final part of the Thump and Whoopanot Islands playthrough. Till next time, guys. Bye bye. Fairly well.